Tonight, Mufti Mohammad Saeed is playing a very, very anti-national and dangerous game. Pandering to separatists, openly tilting towards terrorists and terror groups, and openly flirting with Islamabad. The pro-Pakistan chief minister, as everyone begins to call him for his sweeping pro-Pakistan decisions, has left his uncertain ally, the BJP, on the edge and on the defensive by releasing a top anti-India campaigner. If he has his way, thousands more could be freed. Will the Narendra Modi government let this happen? Or is a walkout the only option Mr. Modi has now? That was eight days ago, as chapter one of the pre-written script played out. Address to them and engage them. Chapter 2 unfolded 60 minutes later on the 1st of March. The PDP's good cop was singing the safe pro-India tune. And the bad cop was ready with his pre-planned script. They also allowed this democratic process to go ahead. Hurriyat ko separatist ko bhi on board le lije, you have a viewpoint. Address to them, engage them. As chief minister, I am the chief chairman of unified command. This is my direction they have to follow. Eight days later, here's where the BJP stands. Hum in vishon mein wo log hain, jinnon ne inhi adarshon ke liye Shama Prashad Mukherjee ko bali diya hai. और इसलिए कृपा करके हमें देशभक्ति मत सिखाएं कृपा करके हमें देशभक्ति मत सिखाएं हमने कुछ बातों का क्लेरिफिकेशन मांगा है क्लेरिफिकेशन आने के बाद वह भी सदन को जानकारी दी जाएगी Here's why it's more honorable for the BJP to quit Meet Masrat Alam a former Hezbollah commander and the man who masterminded the unrest of 2010 that saw over a hundred deaths. And he's not the only one who could be freed. Uh, Nasir Abdullah, who is from the Hurriyat, uh, was uh, in jail since 2010 for being a part of the 2010 summer agitation. Then you also have Mohammad Shafi Dar, uh, Zahur Ahmed Butt of uh, JKLF. He's the brother of uh, M M JKLF founder Magbul Butt. Then you have Mohammad Ayub Dar, who again is from the Hurriyat, is serving sentence from last 12 years. Then you have Mohammad Yasin Yattu, Asif Halwai, Noor Mohammad Tantre, Parvez Mir, Feroz Butt. Now these are the important people who have been in jail separatists uh, uh, basically uh, for anti-India activities. At least 10,000, 10,000 who are behind the bars and we have near about 5,000 FIRs against the, um, uh, our youth in different uh, police stations as stone pelters. When you will not review or reassess the cases of the youth, and this, this will make alienation. If the Mufti government continues, with its open anti-India agenda, should the BJP pull out? Where the public safety is the public security is the national security is the question, Sri Man, our government is not able to compromise in any situation. He thanked Pakistan for peaceful polls. He is a pro-Pak CM. His government wanted terrorist Afzal Guru's remains returned. He now wants icons of the anti-India movement freed. Isn't it more honourable to pull the plug instead? Bureau Report, Times Now.